My name is Claire. And my name is Caroline. And today we're going to be teaching... The Hummingbird! This is the Hummingbird kit. Okay, let's get started. Okay. So the first thing you'll need to do is download the Hummingbird app on your computer. You already have it downloaded, but this is how you get to it. It's that it's, first one. Okay. It's, it's the Google Chrome Store. Okay. So it's the Google Chrome Store, which is how you get to it is you click this button here, and then it will be on your list. That's yep. how you get to the Google Chrome Store. Or you can type it in on your search bar. And then you type in Hummingbird Connection app, which we already have downloaded, so it won't come up. Um, so, yeah. But we you type in Hummingbird Connection app. That's like you have to type that in to get the app. Nothing else will work. Okay, so, yeah. And then to get to the Hummingbird app, you click here and click on Hummingbird. But we already you have, have to it. hit Add to Chrome. It will be the Hummingbird Connection app. You hit Add to Chrome, and then it is like, yes, I want to add this app. And then, then you click on it, and a couple... Open Scratch. Uh, yeah, you click Open Scratch, and then a couple of things will come up saying, you'll say, yes, I understand, and then yes. Okay, and I continue. Yeah, okay, continue. And then this will come up, which is called Scratch, Scratch X. So that's what it looks like, but put your computer to the side for now. Because we don't need it right now. And then the next thing you'll need are the cords that plug into everything to make everything have power, obviously. So this is plugs into the wall, mm -hmm. and then the other end of it plugs into this thing, which is called the um, software so plate. Software plate, yeah, I think so. I don't know. Yeah. Um, this plugs in over here on this circular. We call this the orange light, and this the green mm -hmm. light. So the orange light side is over here and then the second cord this plugs into your computer USB side and then this plugs into the green light USB side. Make sure the green light is on once you plug the USB into your yeah. computer. Yeah. So we do that later because that's just our preference so we like it out of our way. Okay. So the next things you'll need are water bottles. These are water bottles that we customly cut. These are just like Costco plastic water bottles. Yeah, you, there's nothing special but if you are doing this then there are they will already be Cut, cut for you. So basically what we did and though. And we almost beat his desk. If you want to know what, how we did this, we just cut off the bottom of a water bottle and we punched holes in it. And the top. See. We cut off the top of this water bottle and then used the bottom of the water bottle and we taped it to here. And this will be the star of it. This will be the base. Yeah. If you're wondering where this is going to be, it will be by this lovely apple. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's where that will be. Anyways, let's get started with okay. the actual. Okay, I'll go get the lights. Okay, so we're going in our kit to get the lights, and um, I'll show you what the inside of the kit looks like real quick. This is the inside of the kit. Is it on it? Caroline, is it on? That's what it looks like, so yeah. Along with the PC okay, that's good. That's good, Caroline. Come back over. Okay. So now this is the stuff we have. And you also have to use this orange tool to insert it, but we're going to show you how to insert lights. So what you're going to do is, this is the software plate, like we said, and you will most need this green side. You will not use these other sides for our project, but later, if you get more experience with this, then you can use it. But this is the LED side, and these have the one we're going to be using these and these. these the four slot are for tricolor lights, which have four uh, colors. four colors and four wires to them. So you, you obviously have to put them in the four slot. Mm -hmm. These are normal lights, LEDs, which have two wa two wires, and then and that will go on. Those will go on this. Okay, so we're gonna show you how to insert some lights. Okay, so we're gonna start easy, basic with the normal color lights. I'm gonna go for yellow. Okay, so what you're gonna do. You can do the second one. So what you're gonna do here? Can you get the iPad and zoom in on it? So what you're gonna do? Okay, what you're gonna do is see we have. Yeah, I'm do that. We have the this thing here. This is what we're gonna be putting it in, and this is the orange tool, like I said before. So I have my lights here. We're gonna take this black side. Um, there's two sides to the lights black and yellow you always 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 make sure black is on the left side so I'm gonna face this towards me so I can see it easier and then I'll show you guys one up close 
So I'm just taking this little, little tool here. And yeah, can you move it up a little? Okay, I'm taking this little tool here and I'm putting, I'm pushing down on this here. That thing inside the slot here. This little slot. And then I'm gonna push down. Like so. And then I'm gonna insert the black light. Sorry, you guys, you can't see because my hand. Don't put that here. And then I'm inserting that light. And then letting go. And that's easy, right? Okay. So then I'm gonna do the same with this yellow. And if you're wondering, like, why isn't the light turning on? Because we haven't coded it yet. Or plugged it into it. Yeah. So that's how you do those lights. I'm just going to put some other lights in real quick. Okay, so, so let's do it. I'll do it. So, yeah, we're just going to fill up the lights. And okay. while she's doing that over there, I will show you the next step. Okay. okay. So the next step to the humming bird is actually coating the lights. So, yeah. So here we go. So I'm going to show you guys how to code on Scratch X. So if Caroline could tell me which one she's going to plug in. I need LED 3 and 4. Okay. So I'm going to show them this real quick. See where I plugged, where Caroline plugged in those lights? See how there's a 3 under and a 4 under? That's how you know what to code. So what we're going to do for this is come to more blocks, which we're already on. Right there, more blocks. And then we're going to go down and find mm. LED, because that's what we're using. And I'm coding for two right now, because that's all Caroline has so far. No, so, it's three and four. Yeah, I know. Two, two lights. Um, we're good. Yeah. Um, sorry, Miss BT was there. Okay, so, so we have the two lights right here. Um, and so what I'm going to do is come... Yeah, okay, so we're going to come here, and we're going to, can you guys see that? Yeah. So we're coding with these two things right here. Okay, so we're going to, so you see this little scrolly right there? Can you guys see my mouse? Yeah. Um, this is, this is this here, and we're coding for what, Caroline? Um, three and four? Three and four. Three, we're gonna put three there in these little things. I'm gonna try to color. Okay. This is the charcoal. So. This is, so this is what we have so far. We have three and four, if you guys can see that. Yes, draft doesn't zoom. And then we're gonna come over here to where it says intensity. I don't know if you guys can see what it says, but it says intensity right there. And then I'm clicked on it, and I'm going to go 100, and I'm going to click enter. And then I'm going to do that for both of them. Okay. Okay, so now that we have those lights coded and everything, that's how you code them. And then for tricolor lights, for tricolor lights, it's basically the same. Um, so for tricolor lights, it's basically the same. But instead of clicking um, LED, you click Try LED, which will be right, right over there. Right there. Do you see that, guys? Here, and then you click whatever you're coding for. Yeah, you can go ahead and plug it in, Caroline. You can click what you're coding for. Um, we're, we're coding, what are the track color numbers, Caroline? Okay, we're coding tricolor two. Okay, and then we're gonna go here and do all two hundreds for tricolor. Okay, so we're gonna have some restrictions. Yeah, and let me just finish this going. Okay, so I'm just gonna code all of those for um uh, hundred. That was weird. Sorry. <laughs> So I'm just going to code real quick. Okay. 
like looks like red and blue. Okay. And as you guys can see here, Caroline, she, um, I am wondering, I am wondering, I know the answer, um, why are there, like, different, like, letters there? Like, what does RGB mean? R means red, because you have the red cord. Um, G means green, because of the, that's black, sorry. Of the green cord. And then I'm assuming blue means blue. Blue for the blue. And then black automatically codes. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to move our station over to an outlet. So what uh, we're taking with us are our, um, our computer and our, and our water bottle. Okay. So, so what we have so far, Caroline, progressed for us is... A outlet plugged in and computers plugged in and this all plugged in as well. Okay, so I have plugged the USB. I just plugged the USB in so it's on my computer. And as you see, some of the lights are lighting up now. Can you guys? Yes, some are. Yeah, it's because I haven't coded for some of them. Yeah. Can you guys see that? Some of them are lighting up. Let's see a tricolor light up. Hold on, I haven't. Attached it. Okay, click the flag. Okay, so insert when a flag clicked. Here we go. Guys, okay, so we have a yellow lit up because those are the ones I coded. A yellow. Okay. And a green. Sometimes the tricolors don't. Yeah, tricolors are very difficult actually to code. We're good though. Okay. So now what we just want to do since... You'll have most of them lit up. We haven't coded some of these. Because we are actually running out of time. This video is a little long. It's 12 minutes so far. So we are not going to code all of them. But I have showed you how to code them. So you should know how to code all of them. We have coded two and a tricolor that's broken. So, yeah. Okay. okay so these are what it looks like. So, yeah, go ahead. So okay. she's going to show you guys how we actually assemble. So okay. go up close, Carol. Here, I'll actually show you. What you want to start doing is start leaving a light in the paper, not the little holes, like show them so. holes. Show them the holes. I don't know if I told them. Did I tell you guys about the holes? Okay, so you're going to want to go for about three holes. Yep. One, two, and three. Okay. And so you're going to do that? For all of your lights. Well, you're going to leave a couple. And to get the star, you might have to use another plate. So we're just going to leave one more. But uh, we're just going to leave one more through, and then we'll show you how to build the star with our uh, non-coated lights. Okay. okay so. so that's what it looks like. Well, I'm going like, to It's going to look a little more neat when it has time. A, bunch of, a bunch of lights, and you have more time, like I said. Yeah. So that's our Christmas tree, and it usually will stand up if I put that on. So now we're going to use our broken lights, and basically we're just shoving, shoving them in. in. Yeah, but don't shove too hard because we have we're just had them in there. yeah we have had broken lights before, which yeah. is not good. It's not good. Okay, so usually, like I said, or like we said, there would be more time yeah. and more like lights right. and more lit lights. We would code more. Though. Yeah, we code more, but we obviously we have like less time, and then you can stick your water bottle wherever. Really, Hummingbird, in my opinion, Hummingbird is about creativity. Yeah. And, you know, like, you can really make whatever you want. But since we are trying to train people and we're on time limit, we are just making the same thing, a Christmas tree, which was our actually our, our original idea. Yeah, that was our We were thinking one day, like, what can we make? And it's just, like, well, it's turning into, like, Christmasy time. Yeah. Since it's, like... Um, Thanksgiving on Thursday, so, yeah, so, um, that's basically the basics of the hummingbird, so, so uh, thank, thank you, you for, for listening. listening, we hope you enjoyed it, and we hope you try the hummingbird, bye! bye.